I am pleased to be able to express support for the U.S. and the World Act, a great initiative to more effectively educate our students about the relationship between the United States and the rest of the world. As the Congressional Representative of the 47th Congressional District of California in the United States Congress, I represent one of the largest Vietnamese populations outside of Vietnam. And because of that, throughout the years, I have been working with that community and learning its struggles, its desires, and more importantly, the struggles that their families have back in Vietnam. There are many people that have been trafficked into our own area to be used mostly as labor slaves, uh, but some as sex slaves. Uh, I even have called in the vice president of Yahoo, came to visit me, and a representative of Google, because I want to make sure that in Vietnam, it doesn't happen what happened in China. And so I said, it's important for us as the United States to send a message to them that we expect if land reform is done in Vietnam that this land be returned back to the religious institutions. I'm very proud to have sponsored House Resolution 427, the resolution that in particular acknowledges the plight of the Buddhists in Vietnam. I have visited Vietnam twice now and have met the most amazing prisoners of conscience, the Venerable Thich Nguyen Do, Dr. Nguyen Dan Quê, just to name a few. Now, I rise today in support of my colleagues House Resolution 3096 because this is a very critical time in our relationship with Vietnam. There's a letter to the President of Vietnam urging him to release over 100 individuals who have been detained in Vietnam who are currently in prison and who we would like to see released. As you know, I represent the largest Vietnamese community outside of Vietnam in the world. And so I've had the chance to visit Vietnam now three times. 